Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lance from Nerthus TV. Having a look at my new brain spanking out of the box, Aorus X3 Plus. I am going to do some game testing on it, but I thought I'd just uh, give you a quick overview and uh, show you around and exactly how light and beautiful this little thing is. Uh, not to mention quite powerful. I know there has been some reviews out there where the guys said that the keyboard is a bit of squishy and uh, bends a bit, but I haven't really had that. Uh, on the left hand side we've got a display port, HDMI, USB 3 and of course your microphone and headset jack and little speaker. Well, not so little speaker. Around the back you've got the very hard to find but seems to have included in this one thankfully a network port and your power port and a couple of big ass fan extraction fan uh, vents. This thing does make a lot of noise when it gets going. Trust me on this one. Uh, on the right we've got an SD card slot, another couple of USB 3 ports and your power switch. Around the front there's well, nothing really interesting. Uh, your LEDs all in the front there. This uh, it is light. It's it's that was the reason that I actually got it. Is it's only 1.8 kilograms. Beautifully uh, constructed. Uh, I haven't had any issues, but then again, I've only had it for a couple of weeks, so who knows? Uh, keyboard is decent. Um, you've got macro keys on the left hand side here, which are fully programmable. And this touchpad, which I don't really use, but um, from what other people have said, is pretty good. It's really just a fingerprint magnet for me. I use a mouse. I can't get over how light this is. It's it's really it's nice. It's small uh, for the screen resolution and the power that you're actually getting. It's it's very decent. It's not a touch screen um, like the Razer 14, the Razer Blade 14. But I don't really use that, so it's not something that I worry about. And just a quick look see on the internals. Comes with an NVIDIA GTX 970M with 6 gigs of internal memory, dedicated memory, sorry, and it's paired up with an HD Graphics 4600. It's got the i7 4720 quad core, 16 gigs of RAM, gigabyte, bleh, bleh, let's try that again, 16 gigabyte of RAM, it's the DDR3 1866 RAM on this one. It also comes with two MSATA drives running in RAID 0. These are 256 gig drives. Uh, there is a third slot, so you can actually put three drives all running in RAID 0 for some phenomenal theoretical speeds. But let's see how this performs with a two. Total drive space is 512 gigs. And as you can see, nothing wrong with these speeds. This is why your games are loading so quickly. I am going to now test this with some games. Uh, I'll do Grand Theft Auto V, some Assassin's Creed, maybe some Wastelands, Elite Dangerous, and a few other MMOs, because that's pretty much what I play. If you guys want anything else, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I can get hold of it. Thanks, and see you in the next video.